What's up guys, Noah from Template FC here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to use the baseball full jersey template mockup, um, as well as a hat mockup. So we have the product here on the Template FC website, and you can see these are the files you get with this purchase. You get the front full view, the back full view, and then the hat views both front and back. Um, so I'm gonna be showing you how to use this mockup in Photoshop. Uh, first of all, if you download or purchase this mockup, you will get these um, these things here. Um, first of all, you'll get it in a zip and then these three items will open up. Uh, basically, you have the license and then you have the hat mockups and you have the uniform mockups. So I'm gonna be showing you how to use the front full view because it encompasses everything you need. It has the hat, so I'll show you how to use the hat a little bit. And the back view then works the same as the front, just obviously it's the back. So to open this, first of all, you just wanna to come to the TIFF file, um, the front one, and you wanna right click, open with, and open with Photoshop. You can also drag it into Photoshop and I believe that will work as well, but it will open as a PSD essentially. So it's essentially a PSD. We save it as a TIFF, so it's a little smaller in size. So downloading's a little quicker, things like that. Also, I'm in Photoshop, but you can use a website called photop.com. If you don't have Photoshop, it will work the same way. And you can see we have our mockup and we're good to go. So I'm gonna command plus to zoom in here and we're gonna get started with the hat. And I'm gonna be doing a brewer's jersey here today. Uh, we're actually gonna be doing this brewer's jersey, this blue one. Um, the full uh, uniform, I believe, is an away uniform, so they like gray pants, things like that. But we're gonna be starting with the hat. So let's open up the logos folder for the hat. Um, and in this case, you can see there is a design folder for the hat, and that's just the background design on the front panel. So if I hide that, you can see those lines go away. So there's no design on the hat for the brewers. It's just a solid yellow on the front. So I do not need this folder, but if you wanted to add things like striping uh, or like a background effect, you would do it on this smart layer. Uh, anyways, we're gonna go to the hat. We'll hide the right side logo, which is this one here, um, and open up the hat design, which is the front logo. And we'll open up the left side logo, which is obviously the logo on the left. Now these are pretty small since this hat is a fairly small compared to the rest of the uniform. Um, so let's do this and add our logo in. So I have the Brewers logo just searched up on Google and I'm gonna add that in. And I added one with a background. I'm gonna press Command T to transform, uh, make it a little smaller. And I added one in the background so I can show you guys how to get rid of the background if there is one. Uh, basically, I like to come to the magic wand tool here, click the background, select, modify, expand, select one pixel, click OK, and then press delete. Um, and we do that expand just to get rid of any uh, wonky edges. There's also a trademark symbol here. You can keep that if you want, but it won't be visible on this hat because it's so small. So I'm going to select it and delete it so it's gone. And then let's shape this up so it is centered right now. I can feel it clicked into place. We'll make it slightly smaller. We can get rid of this logo and save it. Now on the main hat mockup, which I'll pull up right now, if you zoom in, you'll notice there's like a 3D effect to this. So there's actually layer styles to the logo. So if I open up this hat design layer, you'll notice it looks a little different because this one actually comes with some layer style effects that you can copy and paste to your logo to give it a 3D look, uh, which is a lot of fun. I actually have a tutorial on my own personal channel covering this if you're interested. Also, we have a patch builder coming to the Template FC website that will be free that will also help you with this process. Um, the reason this isn't on the main full uniform is, like I said earlier, the logo is so small on the hat that you really don't notice these effects, so they're not necessary. Uh, but we could add a small one like a bevel and emboss that's a little subtler. just for the sake of the tutorial. Now, if we come back to the logo, uh, we add this logo first so we can get the colors. So if I hide that layer style real fast, I like to just select my colors by clicking the color panel down here, the first color and selecting their main color, which is blue. Click the secondary color and select their secondary color, which is yellow. 
And then if you have your libraries like I do over here, uh, if you don't, you can go to window libraries and place them wherever you want. Um, you can come into these colors and add them to your swatches. And I'll call this Brewers Blue. And then let's select the yellow. Add to swatches Brewers Yellow. Click OK and those colors are over here now. I'll add that bevel and emboss back. Uh, we'll go to the left side logo and I'm actually going to add the MLB logo here. So it's a lot bigger than I need so let's shrink it down. Now I think this side logo might actually be the Nike logo but we're doing the MLB logo just because uh, we're adding the Nike logo later on. Uh, but there's our hat design that's basically done. Now we can set up the colors to get the proper look for the brewers. So let me pull up my brewers. Um, image here. Okay, I have it off to the side screen. So their main hat, the base, is na uh, the navy blue. So if I just select this layer, I don't even have to double click that. I can come and click the brewer's blue and it will make it that color. Um, and the strap, which is right back here, is also navy. The front panels are yellow. The bill, button, uh, all blue. And then the donut will make yellow and the donuts are these little circular cutouts there and this yellow is looking a little dull so i'm going to come in here and just increase the saturation and click ok because i think that looks more accurate to what they have in their uniforms and there we go there's our hat now let's go to the uniform folder we can actually close the hat folder to give us some more room and this time we'll start out with the colors so we got all the colors here we'll make the base the blue shoes will make blue as well I'm not sure what their socks are for this uniform, but we'll make the stirrups, which is the main sock part here. Uh, we'll make that blue. And then the sanitary, which is the underneath sock. Uh, we'll make it yellow, just why not? Um, if you want this all to be one color, you can. You can just hide the sanitary. And it's basically one full sock. The pants are actually gray here since this is the road uniform. So we'll make them a shade of gray. Uh, we can come back and change that later on if it's not looking right. The belt, I think, is black, but I'm going to do blue. Belt buckle, I'm going to leave at gray. Undershirt is going to be blue. This is going to be blue, 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 and blue. So we'll select them all holding shift and click blue. There we go. You'll notice there is a pinstripe option here. We could change this color to whatever we want. So we could do yellow in this instance and get yellow pinstripes throughout the whole uniform. This uniform does not have pinstripes, so we're going to hide it. And then if we open up trim, the trim is like these striping um, shapes here along the collar um, and like down the buttons. And there's a few options here. You have the neck trim, which the Brewer's jersey does not have. And then you have this main trim here, which the Brewer's jersey does have. But uh, we also have this one here that combines them both. So we're going to go to this middle one and use that. Uh, there's a stroke on this so you can have two colors if I zoom in um, and double click on this for instance you can see the stroke is the light blue which is what you see um, but if I change the color to yellow you can see now we have two colors this is just the yellow so I'm gonna hide the stroke by clicking the little eyeball and now it's just yellow which is what we want and now we're good the colors are all set that's what we want now we have to just play with the logos and the design so let's close the colors and go to designs the first thing we have here is the undershirt logo so if i hide this you can see it's this logo here now this is probably the brewers logo maybe it's the mlb logo each player kind of wears their own thing i think and different teams have different logos there and it changes from year to year so i'm never really sure what this is um, but basically you can add a logo there. I'm going to hide it for now because it's not necessary for me to show you a placement logo there. Um, we also then have collar right and collar left. If I bring these up, you can see you can add your own custom design here to the collar because sometimes these are more customized um, designs, especially if there's no trim design going on. Um, so if you wanted to add some more complex striping there, you can with those options. This jersey does not have it. But the rest of this we should be using. So let's go ahead and open up the first one, which is the shirt. And I'm going to close our other hat logos because we do not need them. I'll save that. Um, and you can see here we have some logos. If I zoom in, again, we have some layer styles saved. So there's some bevel and emboss and some texturing here. 
to kind of make this look a little better. And this logo here is actually a rasterized layer. So we can delete this and then check the logos and add our logos here. So I'm going to go add my Brewers text logo again, has a background. And then we need the Nike swoosh because all these jerseys have the Nike logo on it and we should be good. So uh, we'll take that Nike logo, bring it to the top for now. And let's do the same thing we did before uh, with the hat logo and with this logo. So let's grab the magic wand selector, select the background. We'll zoom in a little bit here with command plus hold shift and click some of the inside parts of the U and E or the A. I don't know if that's a, I guess that's an A, not a U. Uh, let's zoom out. Uh, we'll press delete here and press command D to deselect. And you'll notice we get this wicked outer edge border. So I'm going to go ahead and select all my text inside that. Select inverse delete command D to deselect. Cool. Uh, and you notice I did not do the select modify expand by one because I'm going to come in double click color overlay and select the same yellow we used before just to make sure those yellows are the same because they could be slightly different. Um, that should be all right. I'm going to press command T and increase the size a little bit and let's make sure this is centered. So it will click into place when it's centered. I don't know if there's guides here. Okay. Yeah. If I press command H, there is a blue guide. And if I press command T, you can see that is centered. Uh, I'm going to bring it down a little bit though. Cool. Let's go to the template FC text that's here for us and right click on that layer and go to copy layer style. Then you can hide it or delete it and you just want to paste that here. Now I'm actually going to right click rasterize this first so that color is locked in, then paste that layer style. And there we go. Now this has a white stroke. So if I come in uh, and go to stroke, you can see this is a white stroke. We want this to be a navy stroke because the jersey is navy and we want it to blend in. So let's go ahead. I selected my navy from the right side so it appears over here and I'll add that. Click OK. Click OK. Cool. Now let's get the swoosh. I'm going to press command T. Uh, we'll align it with the left side of our text here. Make it a little smaller. Double click. We'll do a color overlay of yellow. That's good. Let's save that and make sure our placement and everything is looking okay. So our Milwaukee text is looking fine. We can actually probably make it a little bit bigger and our Nike swoosh is looking a little awkward. We're going to have to make it a little smaller uh, and move it down a bit. So let's go ahead and do that. Press command T. We'll make it slightly smaller and bring it down. And then the Milwaukee text will increase the size a bit. And we can come here and add a number. Um, so let's double click this text and make it the number eight for Ryan Braun, I suppose. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the, uh, Milwaukee's font is. Let's go ahead and type MLB fonts here. I have a pack of some of them. I think I have an older Brewers font. Yeah, this was their old uniforms. Um, so I'm going to use this MLB block regular. You can find a bunch of sports fonts online if you just search sports fonts or something similar. Um, but there's our uh, number eight. Let's select the yellow over here to make it that color. Um, again, though, we're going to need that blue. So we could actually come to our Milwaukee text, copy that layer style and paste it to our eight. And then maybe we bring this up slightly and save it and see what this looks like right now. Pretty good. We actually have to move that eight over a bit. Cool. It's looking pretty right. Um, the Nike swoosh could be a little bit bigger, I suppose. So let's do that. And we're going to move on to the sleeve design next. So um, they have a logo on their right sleeve. That's the anniversary logo. I'm just going to show you one sleeve logo, uh, but we'll open both the sleeves because we have to add our sleeve stripe. So the right sleeve, I'm going to hide the logo and we're, we're going to select both these stripes here and click the yellow for one thicker yellow stripe. And we'll save that and move to the left sleeve. Let's do the same thing. Select yellow, but we'll leave the logo. And let me go ahead and grab the alternate Brewers logo, which is this one here. And that's a nice small size, no background to cut out on this one. So let's just center it here, um, which is not really centering it. It's aligning it right because the logo is slightly cut off. 
and we'll do that save it come back and you can see that logo there and you can see our sleeve stripes there as well so cool we're almost done let's go to our right pant and our left pant and we'll hide uh, or we'll close out of our sleeves and our shirt and the pant stripes you don't actually get a good look because it's a front view they're kind of cut off so there's only so much you'll see with these pant stripes you could also add logos to the pants i don't know if any team in the mlb has logo uh, logos on their pants but the brewers sure don't so we're just going to go ahead and add their stripe so their stripe here is actually yellow in the middle of blue so this light blue one i'm going to make the yellow so let's do that and then stripe two will make the blue we can duplicate the blue then and move it over to the left so this is what their stripe looks like however we won't see the second stripe we'll just see the first two like so uh, and then let's go ahead and do the same thing here save it cool Command zero to zoom out and there is our design. Now we can come in then finally and do the sock designs. Um, if I hide them real quick, you can see what the socks currently look like. Um, so let's open these up and I'll just change the colors of these because I have no idea what their socks look like. I'm just gonna go ahead and select all of these and make them yellow so it's one big yellow design. Um, I'm kind of taking the lazy way out of this but you could of course add your own striping pattern here and get something better but there we go, there's our example and that's our jersey so um some of this yellow actually looks a little duller than what the brewers actually have so i'm going to come to the top go down here to adjustments hue and saturation i'm going to go to yellows and bump up the saturation so it's a little bit brighter and closer to what they have and that looks much better um maybe we actually come in and hide the sanitary so we just have solid stripes there and there you go there is your baseball jersey pretty simple um, really easy to customize you might have slower lo loading times because it is a pretty big mock-up it is a 4k mock-up uh, but if you want to go save it then you could save it with a custom background maybe the yellow we have been using or maybe you just hide it and save it with a transparent background up to you guys but i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like follow our twitter and instagram template fc be sure to check out our website for all our mock-ups patterns and a bunch of other stuff we have some free downloads there as well that you can use so thank you guys for watching see you in the next one peace